Hi and thank you for joining me. In this video we will take a look on how to route traffic between two VMware host only networks using an Ubuntu system. Now let's take a look at this topology to see what we will be doing. Here as we can see we have two host only networks. Those will be the 192, 168, 10, 0 and the 172, 168, 10, 0. And both are slash 24. We also have another network that will be bridged to my own network and this will be the 10, 10, 10, 0 slash 24. And this will be used to create a netting rule enable for those networks to access the internet through the Ubuntu VM that will be added to route the traffic between those networks as well as accessing those networks from my own PC and for this to work I will add a static route in my Windows 10 machine. So I hope you're excited about this and if this is the first time you access this channel please consider subscribing before continuing the video. Now without any further ado let's get started. Now here I have my VMware workstation. The first thing we will do is to click on edit virtual network editor to create virtual networks. Now I've deleted all my networks here to start from scratch. I click on change settings. Now the first thing we will do is to add the bridge network. I will click on add network VMNet 0. Okay. And this will be the bridge network as I mentioned. I will choose my adapter that is uh, number 5 and that's the one I'm using to access the internet and I will press apply. Now let's add the second network which will be the 172 network. This will be VMNet 1, 172, 168, 10, 0 and it will be a slash 24 and for now I will leave the DHCP open click apply let's add another host only network vmnet2 click ok and that will be the 192 168 10 0 and make sure you choose the host only network now we have all our networks ready and as we can see i already have three machines here my lin router machine which is an ubuntu system that will be used throughout the traffic and two Ubuntu VMs to test the, the routing. Now for the LEN router I will add three network interfaces. I will click on VM settings, click on add, choose network adapter, finish. I will add the other two as well using the same method. There we go. Now we have three network adapter. Let's go with the first one, network adapter. I will use custom specific virtual network. And for this one, I will use the bridge network, which is VMNet 0, if you remember. And then adapter 2, also custom. And I will use the VMNet 1, which is 172. And here, adapter 3, I will use the VMNet 2, which is the 192. Click OK. And then I will go to my VM1. Make sure it is connected to the correct network interface. Here I will click on network adapter. I want this to be connected to VMNet 1, which is 172, I think. Click OK. And VMNet 2 will be connected to 192. Network adapter, custom, and VMNet 2. Click OK. Now let's first go to VMNet 1. I will open using my password. And I will just click on wired settings and click on settings and double check if I did DHCP what IP address I will be getting. I will close the network, then open again, click on settings again, and as we can see, we got the 172, 168 network. 
Now I will use a manual IP address just to be able to ping it later so we remember and if you remember from that topology I showed in the beginning this had 32 as an IP address and the gateway will be 33 for both networks I will click on apply close the network open it again and this should work there we go I will do the same thing with VM2 login with my password click here wired settings click on the settings and do automatic DHCP click apply close the network open it again and click on the settings and as we can see we got the 192 network which is great now, of course all this can be done with with net plan for example or if config but it's it's much faster this way and a lot less typing so i will just go with the interface there we go it's 32 and slash 24 and the gateway will be 33 if you remember close the network open it again to restart double check and the changes took effect now finally the machine that will do all the work i will click on my networks wired settings and here we go we have three network ens 33 38 and 39 now if we check 33 click on ip version 4 go to automatic click apply close it open it again for the changes to take effect and this took the 192 168 10 network annual and i will add a 33 because this will be used as the gateway here's my network mask and i will click apply i will close open again i'm going to check my 38 network i will click on manual enter 10 10 10 33 and this is a slash 24 also and i will put the gateway 10 10 10 1 which is my network restart the network interface and the changes took effect now finally we have the 72 network ip version 4 170 268 10 33 and click apply close open again and double check and there we go now let's continue this using the terminal i will ssh into the machine using the bridged network ssh user1 which is the username i have and the ip address we assigned earlier 10 10 10 33 hit enter yes type the password and there we go now let's check our ip addresses here we have 92 network with 33 and then we have the bridge network with 33 as well and finally the 72 network with 33 also so the next thing we will do is that we will open the sysctl file and enable ip forwarding so to do so we'll write sudo nano etc sysctl.conf and i will type my password there we go i will do a search in nano to do so just press ctrl and w i will write forward hit enter and there we go here is the line i would like to uncomment as you can see it's net.ip version 4.ip underscore forward equal 1 and i will save by click ctrl x then y hit enter now after doing this you should be able to route traffic 
between your two VMs without any problems. You're not going to be able to reach any of them from your own PC or to reach the internet from those VMs though. In order for this to work, we should restart this VM. I will just type sudo reboot. Now here I have opened VM1, which is connected to uh, VMNet1, which is the 172 network. Now let's double check. I'm going to type IP address in the terminal. And as you can see, it's the 172. Now let's see if we can ping the 192 network. 192, 168, 10, 32, which is VM2. Hit enter. And as we can see, it is working. Fantastic. Now, if we try to access the internet from VM1 or VM2, we should not be able to because we don't have any netting rules on the Ubuntu machine that is routing the traffic or forwarding the IP. So if we try to ping, for example, Google DNS, which is 8888, hit enter, we should not get a response. So the next step will be to actually create a netting rule so we can forward the traffic from those host-only networks to the bridge network through our router and to the internet. If the only thing you want is to route traffic between those two host-only network, then you should not go ahead and do this step also. Now I'm going to SSH to this network uh, or this machine again, which is the Ubuntu system that is routing the traffic. I will type my password. And to create this netting rule, I will be using IP tables. I will type sudo IP tables slash t nat dash a post routing dash o and the interface name that I am using, which if you remember is ens38 slash j masquerade and hit enter and now let's go back to our vm1 and let's try to ping 8888 and we should get a response fantastic now, of course keep in mind that ip tables rules are not persistent that means that after you restart it will uh, it will disappear so in order to make this rule persist you will need to install a package i'm going to ssh again sudo apt y install ip tables dash persistent and hit enter and here it's asking me to save current ip version 4 rules and i'm going to hit enter now if we double check our ip table saves for ip version 4 rules i will write sudo nano etc ip tables rules version 4 and as we can see the rule is saved for the network interface ens38 that we created earlier now let's create uh, now let's say you created another rule and you want to update that file you will write ip table sudo first ip tables slash save a bigger than sign then the file location which is etc ip tables rules version 4 and you will hit now if you get this problem it's because your user doesn't have sufficient permissions to enter that file now to solve this problem we just need to uh, change ownership of this file so i will type sudo ch o w n and i will change to user one which is this user that i'm using and the file is ip tables and rules yeah rules version 4 hit enter now if we run the same command again it should run without a problem now if we open the file it should be the same is our rule but of course if we have a new rule it will be listed here now of course if we restart if we restarted our uh, our linux server the rule will be persistent now the last thing we want to do is to be able to access those host only network from our pc through that router if we try to ping 
172, 168, 10, 33. We will not get a response, of course, because there is no route. For this, we will just add a route in our Windows, in our Windows 10. But for this to work, we need to open the CMD as administrator. Right click on it on the command prompt, run as administrator. Yes, there we go. Let me just increase the font 24, and there we go. Now I will type route. If you want this route to be persistent, you will add the P flag and then add. I will add first the 192.168.10 network and then the mask that will be slash 24 255 255 255 0 and then the gateway that will be used to access those and if you remember that is 10 10 10 33 which is the ip address for the uh, bridged interface on the linux router hit enter and i will do the same for the 172 And now let's try to ping 172, 168, 10, 32, and we should get a response. And the same thing for the 190, 192 network. There we go. Fantastic. Now to sum up what we have done, we have routed the traffic between two host-only networks. If that's what you want, then you should stop at that stage. Then we have added a NATing rule in the Linux machine that is used to route the traffic in order for those host only networks to reach the internet. And the third thing we've done, we have done is added a static route in our Windows 10 in order for us to reach those host only networks from our PC. Now, of course, you can do any of those steps individually. It doesn't have to be combined together. If you want to completely isolate your network and just route the traffic between them, then you will just do the first step and you will not add a bridged network because all you need is just route the traffic between those two host only networks. If you want to be able to reach those networks from your own PC, then you must add a bridged network and then do the third step and if you want to reach the internet then the second step now i hope this was helpful if you like the video please leave a like subscribe comment in the next video i will do the same project but using a windows server 2019 so stay tuned thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next session